and the children of Israel sighed by reason of their bondage. And they cried, and their cry came unto God by reason of their bondage. And God heard their groan, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God had respect unto them. And if anybody needs to know, God does remember. God remembers. He never forgets. He never forgets. If you ask God to bring you out, he will bring you out. He heard that groaning after 435 years. After 435 years of slavery and in bondage of Egypt, he didn't forget. He heard them. They had to get into a place to receive their deliverance. And when Moses came, they were in that place to receive the deliverance that God had set up for them. See, when God delivers you, he wants you to stay delivered. He doesn't want us to get delivered and go back. How many people we know get out of jail and go back to jail? That's not God. You don't go back to jail with God. You don't go back to bondage with God. When you're out, you stay out. But in order to stay out, he needs to set you up so that you can stay out when you're out. But he does here. Because somebody here may be shutting him. This is your day of deliverance today. Somebody here may be oppressed by some things that are not what you're doing. Today is your day of deliverance. Today is your day of deliverance. Somebody, you, you may have been waiting for something for a long time and just walls are up on every side. Today is your day of breakthrough. If you hear what God has said to you. If you hear what God has said, today is your day. I was going, when I was thinking about this day and everything God's going to do, I just thank God for myself first. Because I got I get it before y'all get it. So I was thanking God for myself first that I'm going to be here this day. So if somebody misses this day, they're going to miss something. Amen? People just this church thinking, oh, well, nothing's going on. Something's going to happen this day. And if they miss it, it's just too bad. But you are here today. And your breakthrough is a coming because it's a right here, right now. God is in the house. Believe me, His Spirit is in the house. His anointing is right here, right now. His anointing is right here, right now. So we need to get everything out of our minds. We need to clear our minds, clear our spirits, and let the anointing come in. Let's see here right now. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for everything that you're going to do, Father. And everything that's going to transpire in this day, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your word coming forth, Lord. We thank you for the communion that's set up, that we do everything right now in the remembrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who brought in that robbery to die for us, Lord, before we even knew ourselves, Lord. He died for us, Lord, to go through all the ridicule and shame that he's gone through, just so that we can have a right and a way to you, Lord. So we thank you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But God, I thank you for this day that you set up, Father that you will have a breakthrough in somebody's life right now, Lord, that you will deliver somebody and bring somebody out of whatever bondage they were in. Just like if Israel was in bondage, Lord, by reasons of their taskmasters, today some of us are in bondage now by reasons of our taskmasters, and right now you're letting us know that we are delivered and we can be set free if we just adhere and stick to your word today, Lord. So we thank you, Lord, for bringing a deliverance to us in this service right now. We thank you, Lord, for Let the church say, Amen. Amen.